On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. In today's episode, we'll be hunting down the upgrade item required to make the highest prayer bonus boots in the entire game, the Drake's Tooth. This item, combined with the Holy Sandals obtained from Medium Clue Scrolls, creates the Devout Boots, which has a prayer bonus of plus 5, which is extremely high for a pair of boots. The Drake's Tooth is dropped from Drake's at a drop rate of either 1 in 2560 off task or 1 in 512 on task. So because this item is so much more common on task, we're heading over to Konar, our favorite slayer master as she has the highest probability of giving me the drakes task all right let's see if we can get extremely lucky and get drakes on the first task of all tasks i'm picking up this video on. and the answer is we cannot unfortunately i don't have a massive stack of slayer points i only have 278 so tasks like cal fights i'll have to do and uh, the ones that i'll skip is the really long ones 162 hydras yeah that's like a couple of hour long tasks so that is definitely one i'm skipping of course, also on these Slayer tasks, I will be getting these Brimstone Keys, and I will keep track of how many I'm getting, and at the end of the Drake grind, we are going to be opening these as well, and include that in the potential giveaway if I do lose the challenge. But regardless of what, we're going to be looting them and see what we can get from them. There's actually quite a lot of cool items to get, so it's going to be hype. Additionally, when running through these tasks, I am using the Expeditious Bracelets. These have a 1 in 4 chance to count 1 kill count as 2 for your Slayer task. Essentially increasing the speed by 25% on tasks that I do not want, aka not Drake's. Oh, we got the first Drake task, 103 of them. That means with Bracelets of Slaughter, I might need an overall of 3 or 4 tasks. The gear and inventory I'm planning to use for this grind is this right here. It's actually not too expensive of a setup, and on top of that, I am for the first time ever trying the Void Waker, because the Drakes have pretty high defense, and the Void Waker can never miss. So using this special attack on a non-drop rate grind for the first time is going to be very exciting. And we have officially begun the grind. We have one KC on the counter, we have the cannon down. It is not multi-combat, so the cannon can only shoot one monster at a time. But it's good enough, it's going to increase the DPS by a bit, and uh, let's actually give this Void Waker a try. It should hit like an absolute truck and always guaranteed 36, and the second one 35. That can definitely hit way higher, I think we can hit like 70s max. There is one thing that makes Drake's actually kind of bearable as a Slayer task, and that is the extended Super Anti-Fire. It completely nullifies all the damage from the Drake's special attack, which is a fireball that lands under your feet and hits you for multiple times. Without this, you would have to avoid it every single time, but with it, you can pretty much AFK and take barely any damage. I just kind of realized that Drake's drop high alk kits. Look at this, fire runes, nature runes, and it drops rune items that you can alk, so I didn't even have to bring my rune pouch, I guess. I would have everything right here. Oh, we have the first superior. Look at that. Guardian Drake. That looks so cool. I actually have never killed one of these, I think. Maybe a very long time ago in that case. I'm uh, not sure how hard these are going to be, but yeah, that's so cool. Oh my god. How do you even avoid that? Maybe I have to step back or something. Yeah, that is the way to avoid it. So not that difficult. And that's it. What is the first superior going to give us? Absolutely nothing, but we did get 7,000 Slayer experience for that, so always nice to see, but that is the end of the first trip. 44 Drakes, we're not counting in the Superior. Oh my god, 73, and it wasn't even a max it. What even is my max it? I was so curious to see what my max it would be with the Void Waker with my current setup, which is far from max strength, and 76 is the answer. If I would be in like full Torva, max strength everything, I could hit easily over 80 damage with a Void Waker. And that's it. After this one, we're hitting 100 KC for 792,000 GP earned so far. So roughly 8,000 GP per kill. Also, we haven't seen any unique at all so far. None of the two items you can get. And also, no hard clue scrolls. So hopefully we can see one of these very soon. Very uneventful first Drake task, 139 kills on the counter, and that means my bracelet saved 39 kills on my task, which is really lucky. But besides that, we saw one superior, no rares, no clue scroll, nothing too crazy. If you have a skill cape of Slayer, you have a 10% chance to get a back-to-back -back Slayer task, so let's see if we can manage to get that. I've actually never managed to get one, so let's see if we can get lucky this time. 
Nope, we cannot. Oh, there it is, 87 drakes, not as big as the first task, but didn't take too long to get the second one. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised, with 245 KC done, second task completed, pretty much halfway done with the entire grind of this video. I am surprised I haven't seen a single hard clue scroll yet, and on this rate of kills, we should have seen at least one of the uniques. If not the drake's tooth, we should have seen the drake's claw. So hopefully the future tasks are going to be better. Come on, Slayer Cape, can we get a back-to-back -back just one single time? Ah, never lucky, man. Mmm, I was sipping my morning coffee. That's a good start to the day, 81 drakes, let's get on it. You might be thinking, why am I using these weird grey boots instead of the primordial boots? The boots of a brimstone. Well, because I don't have the Karen and Kebos Elite Diary completed, I need 85 farming for that, and I am quite far off at 73, I actually need these brimstone boots inside of this dungeon, otherwise this happens. I take continuous damage all the time, but if you do have that elite diary, which I'm pretty far off, you can use any boots in here. And coincidentally, the drake's claw is the item that creates these boots, so that is another fact of these drakes. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, this was such a weird on drop rate challenge. We got the tooth first out of anything. No hard clue scrolls, no Drake's Claw. We got the Drake's Tooth, 259 KC. And, uh, oh, oh my god, whoops, I, I killed one too many. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate for the loot tracker, but 260, I guess 259 completed the challenge. I was actually very lucky with Drake's tasks. They are very common from Konar, as stated in the beginning, but we only got three Brimstone Keys from all the Slayer tasks between, and we get Gold Ore. And we get uncut rubies and the last one? Oh, Ruinite Ore, not bad. That's like probably 250k worth of loot, maybe a bit less than that. And now finally, we are actually going to be using the Drake's Tooth we just got. I bought some holy sandals and let's combine them to make the best prayer bonus boots in the entire game. Let's see the animation. Oh, it looks pretty, pretty boring, honestly. But there it is. That is the Devout Boots. Let's go ahead and equip them. Plus 5 prey bonus is actually useful in so many areas. Even in the Inferno, a lot of people are using these boots, so they definitely have a lot of uses. You can also use them on Slayer tasks and really anywhere where you need prayer, which is pretty much anywhere in the game where you don't need that extra strength bonus, ranged bonus, or the magic bonus from the other boots. So, drakes, are they actually worth killing if given on a Slayer task? If you're looking for any of the upgrade items, the Drake Tooth or the Claw as an Iron Man or the Collection Log, they are absolutely worth killing, as the upgraded boots are extremely useful. Besides that, however, even with the Dragon Hunter weaponry, these are fairly slow to kill and doesn't reward much in terms of money. Luckily, because of the Super Anti-Fires, they are fairly AFKable, so if you want to save your Slayer points by not skipping any tasks, it's a slow but relaxing task for higher level players. But that is pretty much it for the Drakes. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of On Drop Rate, another challenge one we have actually been very lucky lately winning most of our challenges but that can change in an instant and i hope to see you guys in the next episode until next time guys take care